Ben from PubSheds here. We're taking a look at another potential security device for your home bars. We've reviewed some weather stations in the past and this one is no exception. This has been kindly provided for us by ecowit.com. And this is the Ecowit Witboy 7-in-1 Wireless Weather Station Kit. Now we've talked previously why you might want to have a weather station on your home bar and of course the big feature for that is being able to remotely access uh, so the conditions around your bar for when you're um, away from home. Security is a real issue and obviously you really want to make sure your home bar is well protected so as well as things like CCTV systems or IP cameras this just gives you that extra element um, of peace of mind really. Now, the Witboy WS90 7-in-1 weather station can monitor the following conditions around your outbuilding, and that is UV, rain, temperature, humidity, wind speed, wind direction, and solar radiation. Now the rain side of things is measured by a haptic rain gauge on the top of the device. So when the rain fall, uh, falls onto that surface, it detects uh, how much is falling. Now that involves no moving parts, which can be a consideration for maintenance if you are going to mount this somewhere up high. It also has an ultrasonic anemometer, which means that there are again no moving parts for measuring the wind speed and direction. The temperature and humidity probes are housed in this sort of miniature Stevenson screen here, and this radiation shelter. And uh, this claims to also uh, be uh, replaceable as well, so if there are any issues with that section of the unit, hopefully there won't be, uh, but that can then easily be replaced. Ultraviolet radiation and solar radiation are both measured by sensors which are on the top of the unit. Now, the other key features of uh, the Ecowit device we have here is that you have a dual power supply as well. Not only is there the solar power uh, for charging, but there's also a, a backup battery compartment too. You can also, of course, get your data upload, uploaded to the web and you can set up things like alert emails. There are also easy integrations with third parties as well in terms of uh, the data. So that's going to be really quite exciting to potentially link that to other um, other uses too. Now this also um, will support a, a bundle of other sensors available from Ecowit. Now you might have noticed that there is a cable coming out of the bottom of the uh, Wits Boy, and um, this apparently is for uh, heating power to be connected to it. So uh, presumably if it, um, if it does get too cold or you get ice building up, then that will help to keep that clear. That's something we haven't actually um, read up about. So we're gonna take a look at that, see if we can find some more information about how that works and uh, when you might need to use it. Something else worth mentioning, which I don't think is mentioned on the supplied leaflets, is this little bundle here. And these are bird spikes. This is a bird spike mounting kit, so you can presumably attach this around the rim of the Whitboy with the spikes protruding from the top, and of course that's going to discourage our feathered friends from landing on there, which could of course disrupt your readings. Now, getting this online is actually relatively straightforward. They provide you with this, this hub here, this is the uh, latest version of their hub, and um, you also have some network cable in case you need to physically connect it to your router to get it connected. But I found that ours, once we'd installed the app um, on our phone and tablet, um, it was very rapidly found and installed correctly and updated the firmware and those kind of things too. So that was quite a pleasant experience. It wasn't um, too difficult to get this up and running online. And then from the app, um, you can also uh, forward that data or push that data forwards onto servers such as um, Weather Underground. Um, and you can then monitor the conditions live, of course, on your mobile device. Now, I will say we did have a few issues with the connection of this um, hub in terms of uh, longevity and, and this did drop out a few times um, um, I'm not sure whether that's just the hub itself updating or becoming familiar with our router settings or whether perhaps there's a slight issue with our router um, being compatible with this but for now we've got this um, routing its data through the older version of the hub which seems to be working absolutely fine okay so this is a display from the app on our mobile phone 
and as you can see the data is laid out really nicely. We've got the temperatures at the top and the humidities as well as a calculated dew point and feels like temperature reading. Then we have a section for the pressure which is a sensor we didn't actually mention but that's also included. Now you can set this to absolute pressure um, or if you're at a elevation um, that is above or below sea level you can then uh, set that to relative. We also have the readings for solar and UV which are both zero because we're indoors. Then we've got the wind speed and direction and finally at the bottom you've also got uh, rainfall. Now we've got a um, currently we've got this set up to measure rain from a, another ECOIT sensor um, rain gauge which is outdoors. Now um, we're doing that just to do a side-by-side -side comparison so yours might vary slightly in terms of what is displayed on your screen. Now another important consideration is how often does the data update? For some weather stations that can be a matter of seconds, for others it can be over minutes. So we're going to test out the perhaps one of the most crucial ones um, is the wind speed and direction and we'll see how often that takes to update. Okay so we have our fan set up for this and uh, we'll start uh, counting now. So that seemed to us to be somewhere between 6 to 10 seconds to update for the wind speed and direction there. But it did seem to vary, which was a bit strange. So we've been testing the Witboy for a little while now, and we've been gathering data from it, its sensors. So now's a good time to compare the data we've gathered so far with some other well-known stations, including the Tempest and the Davis Vantage Pro 2. Now, we'll be honest, the Whitboy has not been mounted at the same height as those stations, so therefore the data might be slightly skewed compared with what they're measuring. But having said that, they're in a very similar location in the garden, so we should expect readings to be pretty consistent. First up, we see a daily weather data comparison from weatherunderground.com. As you can see, the stats are pretty close to each other there. It seems to be a bit more sensitive on registering temperature changes, and also the wind speed, as you can see on this graph here, uh, seems to be um, a little bit more sensitive too there. Um, whether that's more accurate, that's really hard to tell, as the Vantage Pro 2 doesn't update on weatherunderground.com as rapidly. One thing we did notice was that the UV levels do seem to be registering a lot higher on the Whitboy. Um, again, that's uh, hard to tell whether that's um, that the Tempest is a bit low, but I suspect that the Whitboy is a bit high because when looking at the UV levels that were forecast, um, it certainly wasn't in the range that we were seeing on those graphs. But other than that, as you can see, a lot of the data compares very favourably uh, between all three weather stations. As you can see, the weather station has already experienced a variety of conditions and we've mounted it, as you can see on the left here, at around about the same height as the Tempest and the Vantage Pro 2. We've also taken a recording here of the optional extra screen, the HP 2550C, to give you an idea of how frequently the wind speed and direction update. As you can see, it's approximately every 8 seconds. This is a really impressive station that includes lots of different sensors um, for the relatively reasonable price. We like the fact that it's portable, lightweight, easy to install. We also like the fact that maintenance in theory should be quite minimal with the, uh, with the lack of moving parts on this station. The fact they included the bird spikes as well, that's a nice extra touch that should help to ensure that this uh, station remains reliable and undamaged for a period of time at least. Connecting it couldn't have been easier. We are going to investigate the dropout issues with our hub, but hopefully that's something that we can resolve. We're also impressed with the number of sensors included. It would have been nice to see a lightning detector, but that is available as an optional extra sensor from the Ecoit website. 
This was a review of the EcoWit Witboy WS90 7-in-1 wireless weather station, available from ecowit.com and kindly provided for us to review. Thank you for joining us, and if you like this kind of content, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell icon to stay updated with the latest video content from PubSheds. Cheers.